Katie, um, there is a summer weather pattern that mm -hmm. apparently is leading up to all of this. And I, you know, I think we've all gotten a little complacent mm -hmm. the last couple of have. years. It's been super easy and we were prepared, but we've never had to utilize everything. No, exactly. You know, earlier this month, the Climate Prediction Center increased odds for a La Nina to develop this summer. And La Nina tends to increase hurricane activity in the Atlantic. For example, this past year we had an El Nino season. We know that El Nino keeps storms out of the Atlantic. Okay. But take a look at what happens when La Nina comes after. The storms move inland, so we can expect more storms in the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico when that happens. A similar year to this pattern would be back to 2020. And think back to what happened that season. In 2020, we saw wall-to-wall -wall tropical storms, 12 in total, six hurricanes, and two major hurricanes that hit the United States. That would be Hurricane Laura and Hurricane Teddy. Now, of course, these storms won't won't happen for months and we don't know where they're going to hit, but we can expect a very active season. One thing about Florida that's really notable, we're surrounded by those warmer ocean temperatures. They get warmer every year, it seems like. So the key is to watch for Saharan dust because that can deter a storm. Watch for the warm temperatures and of course low wind shear can play a, a factor mm -hmm. in storms developing. Yeah. The higher the wind shear, the less likely it is to form. So all of those factors go into it and we'll have to pay close attention. What, what I didn't like about, and I'm not sure which models each of those colors represented, but it looked like there were storms that were tracking further north yes. from both the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah. So it's good to know there is really no need to panic. No. Uh, but now is the time to get ready. And it's like insurance. You know what? Mm -hmm. Be ready and hope that you don't hope have to use that have hurricane. You never have to use kit. it. Yeah. You know, and also for anyone out there who says, well, they always say that. Yeah, that's true. You know, our weather teams, that's your job is to really get out there, predict above average hurricane seasons and also those predictions have been accurate oh, in yeah. the past okay. as we look You know, them. I think for us as meteorologists, I don't do this with thunderstorms or rain on a regular basis, hype it up. Mm -hmm. But with hurricanes, I absolutely will if the factors are there. Again, like those warm temperatures and that low wind shear, you have to. All right. And just keep in mind, because your area didn't get hit doesn't mean that it wasn't an active year. Even in a quiet year, it just takes one storm. And it's always best to be prepared no matter what the forecast. Yeah, and they can change your whole life. You know, all it takes is one storm. And sometimes what you will see is like one and then another because it does tend to do that same right. track. Well, think about Ian and Nicole and how that came in. I think yeah. back to Daytona Beach. Uh, gosh, I mean, one came in after another and just kind of ripped apart what Ian already put the, the foundation shoulder. in yeah. for. Yeah. And then, you know, it's just a sad thing. And, and right. keep in mind, you know, some of the things that you've got in your, your hurricane kit, Things like batteries and some of the foods have uh, a limited shelf life. So check on the dates there to make sure that you've got everything that's fresh. We have time.